Who are you going to get when you're in the shoe unit? Everywhere you go, you're shackled down. Two guards. Who are they protecting? You against the mainline or the mainline against you? They're protecting somebody. What was it like, uh, you know, daily life in the shoe? Because it's, it's high security, isn't it? Yeah, but there ain't nothing to do. Uh, they're, they give them the, the VIP treatment. They bring your food, you know, everything. They let you out of the cell for 45 minutes to so a little low yard in each uh, block, each quad, each whatever you call it, I forgot, for 45 minutes. And it rains in the summertime there. Sometimes some people won't even go out because it's a, as big as this to the end of that. You know, and uh, you know, you just go and shower and shave, and uh, they let you out. You shave, shower. You got so many minutes. If you take too long, you turn the water off. I don't know about now, but they used to turn the water off on you. If you took too long, it's too bad. You had all that soap on you, and uh, you can't go nowhere. Just to the shower or to the yard, the little yard. Then you got to come back to your cell. Now, how difficult it is to communicate with people if if you want to get a message to someone either in Pelican Bay or another prison, is it really difficult if they got you locked down in the shoe? <laughs> no, they're just every code they they write make codes up, you know. The cops know they're broken right away because the same convict gives it up because he might want to go to a regular joint to get those good visits, or just to go and uh, not be locked up. So they debrief and they give up everything. To this day, I'm almost positive. There's somebody there that tells what he knows or what he hears, but don't want to go to the mainland. He stays in the shoe. You know, <coughs> affiliated or a member. I'm almost positive. When you released in uh, 1993, uh, did you get a feeling that they wanted to keep you in there because of your reputation or there was nothing they can do to keep they you? They couldn't do it. When I got there, the man told me, uh, the only way you're getting out of here is in a pine box. You know, that's the only way you're getting out of prison, in a pine box. The Lord had different plans. So here I am, where I couldn't get out of prison, serving myself, serving time, serving the devil. I couldn't get out for years. All the 70s and uh, all the 80s and Folsom. Now serving the Lord. I've been in Folsom. I've been to Chino twice. I've been in uh, Corcoran once. I've been in. Uh, San Quentin twice. I've been in Calipate around five times. I've been in, uh, what's that, Tex Texas joint? Texas? Yeah, I've been in that joint. I forgot the name of it. It's a federal? No, uh, the worst joint they got in Texas. No, I don't know about it. Texas. No, I've, yeah, I've been in there where they gas people, you know, they have their gas chamber, I forget. Now, when you go back to these prisons, do the inmates, uh, they, they, still res they still respect you, even though you've made the transformation to the Lord, that you still get that respect from them? Oh, yeah. They're, it's a, when I go in there, it's a visit for them. Man, this guy, man, they couldn't believe it when I went back in Folsom, I was walking in the yard, me and... Me and Big D, Donald, walk in the yard and we're cutting it up. And we used to walk this yard all loaded. And we couldn't, now, man, we couldn't get out. Now we, we're going to get out the same. Those guys couldn't believe it. They seen us in civilian clothes. What are you doing here, man? You know, no, man, we're walking right back up. And we're serving the Lord. So the CDC has obviously believed in your change thus far to let you back in. Okay, let me tell you one thing. When I went into, I'm not going to mention names, I don't think they would want me. Uh, a warden, associate warden, 
when I go into Calipatria, when I'm getting out, I come out and I'm in between gates, you know, the, and I hear a name, Kilroy, Kilroy. So I turn around, there's a little fat man in a suit. And he said, wait a minute. And I look at him, I look up and the, the gun, the tower, he's on me, you know. And he comes up to me and he says, I want to know one thing. What? Why'd you put a green light on me? I, said, I don't know what you're talking about. I said, you know what? I, I don't know that I put a green light. I can't remember a lot. He says, what do you mean? Yeah, I was in a wreck. He says, yeah, I know that. You almost died. I said, yeah, but I can't remember. Some of it comes back. And you know what? I'm a Christian now. He said, I know that too. I wouldn't let you in my joint. But I want to know why you put a green light on me. And I says, I don't can remember. If I knew that, if I knew, could remember, I'll tell you the truth. Let me pray over you. He let me pray over him. He, after the prayer, he was relieved. He had a a, a, a real peppy in, in the step. He had a pep in the step when he left. It was like relief. So when I look back, man, I says, I'm praying over this warden. I prayed over this warden, and I would have never done that, you know. What a, I would have thought of what the fellows are saying, you know. I prayed over a Muslim, a devout Muslim. And he was in a fundraiser in an accident. He used to go to a Christian church, a devout Muslim. He wrote a, he had to give my wife a blank check when they were a fundraiser, when I couldn't walk, after I got a hospital, he said, fill it in, whatever you need. It don't matter how much, fill it in. I worked for him, but I never uh, discussed my religion with him or anything, you know. And here is a devout Muslim, right on, a blank, gave my wife a blank check. So, the whole thing is, I tell people, be what God wants you to be. Don't be what you want to be. Because if you play the part, you're going to become that part. You're going to end up with a callous heart. Thanks for watching StreetGangs.com. Please like and share the video you just watched and leave a comment below to tell us what you think. You can also watch two of our previous episodes to the right. Please visit the link to our Patreon page and support our campaign. And don't forget to subscribe.